In our next lesson, we will discuss ACLS cases. Patients with ineffective breathing patterns, such as Aginal or Kuzmal breathing, are considered to be in respiratory arrest and require immediate attention. There are many causes of respiratory arrest, including cardiac arrest and cardiogenic shock. To resuscitate patients experiencing respiratory arrest, use the BLS or ACLS survey. Here is the BLS survey. You should check responsiveness, call EMS, get AED, assess circulation, and use defibrillation. Also, you should follow the proper steps if a pulse is present or not. Please take this time to review the graphic in your manual. This is the ACLS survey. It follows an ABCD sequence for proper ACLS. Here are the types of ventilation, which are divided into advanced and basic types. The airways listed on the right column are considered basic airways, while those on the left are considered advanced. Oropharyngeal and nasopharyngeal airways are considered basic but require proper placement by an experienced caregiver. The first step in any airway intervention is to open the airway. This is accomplished by lifting the chin upward while tilting the forehead back. The goal is to create a straighter path from the nose to the trachea. If the patient has a suspected neck injury, the cervical spine should be protected, and a jaw thrust alone is used to open the airway. This concludes our lesson for ACLS cases.